Yo, 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 my boys, what is up today? We're going to be rating 40 Ultimate Team player cards that are all under 100k coins. Now, I'm going to take a look and see which ones are absolute trash and which ones are fully, fully goated. So let's get straight into it. All right, boys, we're just going to pick them out in no particular order. Let's start with this Cooley Barley card. It stood out to me. So we're looking at the stats on the card and if we have any knowledge to do with the play styles 90 defending 90 physical <coughs> 85 pace granted the passing and dribbling is low so you won't be able to play out the back too much with this fella but for a center back to have 85 pace 90 physical and 90 defending 90 um rated overall and i can see that the play style plus is one of the heading ones boys I mean, I'm sorry, but this card probably does have to go right at the top. I don't know. for a, That card is absolutely insanely good. Uh, m most people are using Neymar right now as well. So it's got a strong link to Neymar from the same club. Uh, you got to get him in there. Um, right, let's get grab this Sissoko. For me, it was amazing when I started out FIFA. It was actually one of the very first cards that I got. And his dribbling, his RB dribbling and with the ball at his feet is very, very good. I'd actually say that this card is pretty, pretty good. To me, it felt amazing and it got me through a lot of games. I'm actually going to put him all the way up here. All right, Ruby Costa. I tried this card out and for some reason I wasn't that impressed. Um, I mean, stats wise, 89 passing, 87 dribbling, 85 pace, 82 shot. For a cam, that's kind of the right stats that you want tick attacker playstyle plus i know he's got a few other passing playstyles and stuff but to be honest he didn't feel that impactful for me in my games honestly so i'm gonna put him down here this dudek keeper card let's take a look at it i haven't played with this guy 88 diving 86 handling 92 reflex 88 positioning <clears throat> i've played against this keeper and i'm not gonna lie i feel like all of my shots were getting saved he seemed pretty good all right uh premier league Premier League hero card as well. We have to analyze that because that's pretty, pretty good. I'm a big fan of that. I think this card genuinely belongs at least here. He hit A or B. A tier or B tier. It's a tough one. I'm going to stick him in B tier for now. Let's take a look at this Edison card. All right. So this is an honorable mention for team of the year. 90 diving, 88 positioning. 88 reflexes, 93 kicking, 84 handling. I don't like this 84 handling stat. Handling is very, very important for a keeper. That dictates how much, how many rebounds you give out, how much you spill the ball. It should be higher in my opinion, I can't lie. So it's a tough one. I don't like that the handling is so low. In that case, I'm going to stick it here. That's just what my opinion, looking at the card. All right, this A, this Awa, however you say his name. This card actually looks insanely good. But, and I know because I know that he's quite cheap because I've used him in the past um, for content. So I think the card goes for like sub 30k. So considering how cheap he is, you're looking at 82 pace, 81 shooting, 89 passing and 92 dribbling. And then look at the defensive stats as well. 80 defending, 80 physical. Most centre mids or cams, if they have really good dribbling and passing stats, pace shooting, the, phys the defending and physical is usually quite low. But this is very good. I'm honestly... He's tough to link though. He's very tough to link. I think that's the only issue with a card. But he's going all the way here in the 80. All right, let's take a look at Emre Khan. So it's a card that has everything above 80. You're looking at 86 defending, 90 physical, 82 dribbling, 81 passing, 82 shot, 82 pace. To be honest, uh, my rule is for any set, box to box center mid or any CDM card that has everything above 80, it's likely to be pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a solid card. Although again, I think passing and dribbling stats should be a bit higher for a CDM for any center midfielder actually. So literally, I would have rather his passing and dribbling been a bit higher and his physical and defending been a bit lower. I just think it's so important for a centre mid to have better passing and dribbling stats. So I'm going to shove this card here. This Bremer card. 84 pace, 88 defending, 86 physical. And it's got jo uh, block plus. I think block is a great play style, by the way. Honestly, so, so good. This card looks amazing. I know it's quite cheap as well. I think you can get it for like a, a less than 40k for sure. I don't know if it's a goated card, but it's definitely, definitely very, very good. Let's take a look at this uh, Beasley. 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 passing, 78 shot. Uh, this card looks absolutely terrible to me, bro. Beasley, you're going to go down here. I don't know what your play style is like. Rapid plus. Let's take a look at Chowinga. I've heard good stuff about it. 93 pace, 87 shooting, 87 dribbling, and 81 physical. Rap, uh, quick step plus is that as a play style. That's pretty litty. I can't lie. That is pretty litty, boys. To be fair, considering her price, 
I think she belongs really high. Can't lie. Chiesa card. Rapid plus. 92 pace, 84 shooting, 88 dribbling. Mm, he's going to be very average. For a winger? For a winger, average, boys. Probably down here. All right, so Gayoro. I've heard good stuff about this lady as well. 82 physical, 86 defending. See, this is this is the right box-to-box -box center mid card that I want to see. I don't really care too much about the shooting, but the passing and dribbling is very high. The defending and the physical is very high, and the pace is okay. Uh, this is a good card. This is a good box-to-box uh, -box card. All right, let's check out the center back Gomez card. <coughs> 86 pace, 87 defending, 85 physical. No play style plus. Looks. Looks decent, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the Bremer card, so it's going to go there. Gabko left wing card, 89 pace with uh, quick step plus, 87 dribbling, 80. Do you know what? I will tell you now, I played versus this Ice Gap Gakpo card. This card actually goes like up here. I have just played against some there's a guy that had this and the guy destroyed me, mate. And I normally don't struggle versus too many people, but he made me look silly with that card, all right? Yo, yo, follow on the Big Gladiator channel, you're done for Big Shack. Alright, let's go for anyone else. Let's grab this card, man. This looks interesting. Kloster, man. 88 physical. 85 physical, 88 defending, 86 pace. Dribbling 82, not too bad. Passing 75. That looks like a solid card. Honestly, oh, it's tough, it's tough. I don't know if he belongs quite up here. I don't know all the play styles on the cards, boys. If I knew all his play styles, fair enough, he would definitely have a seat next, next to Bremer, but I'm gonna have to stick him in this category for now. All right, boys, well, do you know what? This is not my opinion, but this, uh, this Marlon card apparently is just like a ridiculously good, he's an R9. I haven't tried it out myself, but <clears throat> there's too much hype on this card. And I mean, I think I understand why. You're looking at a card that has 94 pace, 91 dribbling, 86 shooting as well. Trickster Plus probably got Traveller and stuff on the card as well. So I kind of understand. Francescoli, I played with this kid and I wasn't impressed at all. I didn't like him at all. Honestly, didn't like him at all. A lot of these heroes just feel really, really bad. Grimaldo, centre mid. Wow, this looks like a good card. Yo, this card looks very good to me. Incisive plus as a playstyle. You're looking at 89 pace, 81 shooting, 87 passing, 89 dribbling, 80 defending. This is exactly what I talked about for a box to box and My guy needs to go all the way up here. That card looks insane to me. Oh, Kubo! Yo, all I'm gonna say is this Trailblazer Kubo card got me through the entire of FIFA, bro. The entirety of FIFA, it got me through it. So yeah, he's going all the way up here. This Matoma card, let's uh, take a look at that. 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 80 passing, 80 shooting. Doesn't look bad to be fair. Doesn't look bad, but again, I think you need more from a winger. I'm gonna stick you here for now. Little, let's take you 90 rated, all right? 94 dribbling, 87 passing. Uh, he's, this is a decent card. Considering how high rated it is, I don't know how much it costs. Technical plus, I quite like that card, to be honest. Yeah, guess what? You're going down here. I've got this Olga Carmona right now, and while her stats look all right, I promise you, she just isn't 90. She's in 92 pace. She's not that fast. She seems so much slower in game, and she can't catch up to anyone. She is terrible. You're going down there. Not having that. Fabinho card. 84 passing, 83 dribbling, 87, 88. Uh, it doesn't look, doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. This Fabinho card could be good for a CDN, definitely. All right, uh, Jolington. Oh, yo, yo, hold up. Jo Jolington goes here and Fabinho goes here. That card looks insane. Looks even better than that. Very cool. All right. Oh, Van Nistelrooy, I've got this, I've currently still got, had this, well, I had this guy for a goal, as a goalkeeper a very, very long time. He goes all the way up here. He's actually really impressive. He just gets down to everything. All of his actions are super fast. He's actually really good. I was very impressed by that. This Pedri card I've tried out for a couple of games. It's okay, nothing special though, honestly, I'm putting him here. Oh, that's the 89, Veron. For a second, I thought it was the 87. I was about to kick off. I know this guy's very good and he was getting used by pros in the FC Pro Open. We have to put this guy, this card quite highly, to be honest. The Greenwood card, 79 pace, 87 defending, 84 physical. I don't know. I think she actually has a lot of play styles. Again, block plus to me is very, very valuable. She needs to go at least here, could even go higher. I don't know. I'd need to have an in-depth look at her card, but based on these stats, I think she's, and, and her playstyle plus, she's bound to be a bit of a menace. I'll tell you what, boys. This Dia Maria center forward card 
if you were to play as a cam, I think he'd be absolutely unreal. I know, I don't know if that's possible, but uh, just based on this card, and the fact that in the game you could switch him to a cam, he's going to go there for me. I think I tried him out one game and he felt really nice. This Pepe card, 82 pace, 87 defending, 93 physical. Well, that's a bit of a crazy card. Now, I'm assuming Pepe will have some good defensive play style, boys. So I'm going to assume that, all right? And with those stats, that looks crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie. What is that? Yeah, my guy goes... Oh, it goes all the way up here. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look at the play styles, but he might even overtake Bremer in this one. Uh, is he goated, though? Oh, nah, 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 nah. Let's not be silly. I don't know if I can put him in goated status. Although this Renard... Jesus. For, if, for someone that's 100k to be 92 defending, 87 physical, and 74 pace. Yeah, Renard, you can be goated, baby. Oh my god, this Williamson chick. Oh, okay, I made a video about her because I've actually tried her out and she felt insane. She's goated. She's goated as well. Two female center backs that are goated in here, right? All right, let's speed through this, boys. This basic Zola card is just not good enough to be our center forward or striker, to be completely honest. I mean, you get an icon, so it's going to give you chemistry. I'm not going to put him all the way to detail because this is an icon card. It will give you chemistry. It's not bad. It will get the job done for you. Xabi Alonso CDM card very oh very average i mean good passing but everything else is just so so average you're going here i'll tell you what i'll be nice zola go in there because you could be more valuable as a cam um Xabi alonso card does not look good at all in terms of stats this lamty card he's got pace um <clears throat> dribbling uh, it's okay i think boldy locks this boldy card is bound to be a little bit better he's got He's 96 pace with quick step. Okay. Again, I don't know all of the in game play styles. I'm just looking at the card numbers. 80 defending is pretty decent. And he's still got good pass, like decent enough passing and dribbling. So it's a much better card than the Lamptey card. Rabiot, it's okay from the looks of it. Doesn't look that special though. I'm going to put him here. Oh my God, you are a goated card. Bro, I can't believe this Bernardo Silva honorable mention card is not more expensive i it's very similar to his thunderstruck and by the way i love his thunderstruck card it was one of my best players for such a long time and it's very similar to that but it's got two play star pluses oh i goaded card bro absolutely goaded this marco royce card i've never seen before but for a cam he's got everything that i want insane dribbling insane passing good shooting decent ish pace i think you belong at least here i'm gonna make some changes i think you do belong in here and this card probably belongs in here as well. Pope, I've had you. Didn't like you at all as a keeper, bro. You was not saving anything. This Okocha card looks nice as well. Well, I would argue as a cam, you need better passing. Mm, here. Isco. You could play him as a box-to-box -box center mid. This is actually a very solid card, if I look at it. I hope so. Yeah, it's a box-to-box -box center mid. This is a damage dealing card. I actually will put him here, from what I can see. All right, boys. So this is my tier. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see everyone. Take a look at that. All right. That's what we've done. Uh, digest it. Right, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with what I've done here? Or would you place people in completely different places? Let me know what you think I got seriously wrong. Let me know if you uh, strongly agree with some of these picks, all right? Where I've put people. I'm curious to see what you guys think. All right, boys. I hope you enjoyed this very unique tier list video. I haven't done one like this before. But you got my opinion on 40 FIFA cards. And hopefully sometime in the future we do it again, all right? Remember, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. We're releasing lots and lots and lots of content. And uh, drop a like on the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, lads.